at what's going on even in your own heart. See, yes, we are called to come to every single meeting of the body. And for some reason, people lack conviction on that area. For me, I don't know why, how God put it on my heart, but since I became a Christian eight years ago, every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, I've only missed twice. Once was on my honeymoon, another time I was on vacation with my, wife, uh, with my uh, sister. In eight years, I've never missed a Sunday uh, other than those two times, never missed a Wednesday or a Friday other than those two times. And for some reason, people have, well, I have exams, I have this, I have that. We all do. But yet, we made a decision that God is going to be number one in our lives. And for those around us as well, it's like, well, if God's number one in our lives, his family needs to be number one too. You don't show up to church just to be given to. You show up to give. Yeah. It says here, when you show up in the body, you see somebody else rejoicing, somebody else mourning, you go in there and help them out as well. That's the point. That's a, that's a different change when you see that church is not just a Sunday meeting. It is the people. Are you invested in other people's lives? We see here another purpose of us in our dedication. We see, first of all, it's to go and help other people outside of the church. We see that it's also to help the body of Christ inside the church. And as well as here, our last kind of responsibility in the church. 1 Corinthians 16, 1 through 2. It says, Now about the collections of the Lord's people. Do what I gave, uh, told the Galatians to do, uh, Galatians churches to do. On the first day of every week, each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with your income, saving it up so that when I come, no collections will have to be made. He talks about this last point and this last responsibility we have to the church is a financial uh, responsibility. That going out and seeking and saving the lost and winning the world for Christ, yes, it takes heart, love, and everything, but it's also going to take money, guys. Even for us, I know um, myself and Jessica, we kind of look over the finances of the church, and uh, we look at it, it's actually just quite really faithful. Um, because I look at the, as a church, we only started in January, and so we had limited resources and everything. And most of our money, guys, we have an open book of where all the money goes. If you have any questions on where your contribution is going, come and ask us. We have a spreadsheet of where every dollar goes. Um, but next year, we're looking at it, and we're like, we don't know how we're going to survive next year. <laughs> we look at it, and the, the minuses are more than the pluses. And we're like, wow, this is exciting. God's going to do something great. God's either going to put on someone's heart like more generosity or something or get a better job, but we're looking at it like God has to show up or this room isn't going to exist. Mm -hmm. You know, but th th that can put nervous on our hearts, but it's also, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Because not only are we just going to look at God, it's like we look at each other. Like, guys, how, how are we going to show up for each other? How are we going to make this church grow? Mm -hmm. So I know this was a more teaching lesson, but... This should at least put on a maturity on our hearts when we look at Christianity. Some people still in their hearts might be saying, I don't need church. I, I, I can do it alone. I have a personal relationship with God. Okay. All I just want to help you grow in is realize that the church helps your personal relationship with God become a permanent relationship with God. If you try and do it alone and refuse to learn this lesson, your personal relationship with God is just going to be a periodic relationship with God. It's going to always just be on your own terms rather than the will of God. You're going to do it whenever you want. Whenever your schedule is free. Or whenever you think, oh, I have enough time. Okay, you can do that. But I promise you that's going to describe your relationship with God. Instead of just realizing the will of God, seeing how church is not a... A, a requirement or it's not an obligation it's a privilege yeah. it's awesome to come to a place and have people of the same faith and want to encourage us it's awesome to give to other brothers and sisters and to actually have an impact in other people's lives so again I want to encourage you don't look out in the world and make uh, the world describe your Christianity but look into the Bible see God's will and therefore let it describe your Christianity and with that, God, glory be to God. Thank you, man.